What's up Samurai? We are back again for a special video. This is going to be probably a relatively short one, but you would not believe the amount of questions that I get of are you going to play this game, are you going to play this game, so on and so forth for the year. Now I did already have a video talking about my life circumstances and so on and so forth and in that video I did also end up mentioning that uh, like the games that I was planning on playing for this year. However, it's been suggested to me multiple times and I gotta give a shout out to my buddy Malty because I never thought that I should end up doing this as an individual video, just letting you guys know, okay, this is the plan. So this way you can all know what's going to be happening and what's gonna be coming in 2023. So for this month, we've got the Dead Space remake. That's a guaranteed game I definitely plan on playing. And then over in March, we've got Star Wars Jedi Survivor, gonna play that. And Resident Evil 4 Remake, gonna play that. In June, we've got Diablo 4. Uh, Dead Island 2 was actually pushed to April, which kind of sucks. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2, Tears of the Crybaby Kingdom, whatever, that's in May. Definitely playing that one. Uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage is in August. I'm, I'm gonna keep my eye on that one. We'll see, that might be during the dead months, so maybe I'll pick it up, but I'm not like super hyped about it. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 is supposed to be summer 2023, and I definitely wanna play that one, which that's gonna be a really lengthy game. A lot of these are because they're RPGs, right? Spider-Man 2 is supposed to be in fall of this year, so definitely wanna play that one. Uh, there's another game called Atlas Fallen that me and my buddy Val ended up looking at, and it, it seemed interesting, but I don't know if I'm going to commit to actually like playing it and buying it, unless maybe it's on Game Pass. Speaking of Game Pass, there's a little indie game called Replaced, which looks pretty interesting. Most of all, the graphics look really cool. That's gonna be on Game Pass though, so I'll probably do either a one-off video, and if it's good enough, I'll do a full series. Uh, apparently Alan Wake 2 is supposed to come out this year, but that's kind of a, eh, not sure on that one. Same with the Dune Awakening. So it's supposed to be like a Dune MMO. Now, if it's like a full on MMO, I'm pretty interested. However, that game is actually being made by the Conan Exiles team, which Conan Exiles technically is referred to as an MMO, even though it's not really, it's more like, it's like calling Ark an MMO, right? Like it just doesn't really make sense. So. I'm kind of waiting on the Dune game. I'm not 100% committed to playing that one. Blue Protocol, definitely plan on playing that one though. That's gonna be the Genshin killer. And it's not really, it's probably not even going to be nearly as popular as Genshin, but at least it's gonna be really fun. Remnant 2 is supposed to come out this year, which I'll, I'll see about that one because Remnant 1, I played multiplayer through the entirety of the game and I really, really enjoyed it. But I don't know if any of my friends are interested in Remnant 2, so we'll see how that goes. Wayfinder is supposed to be in spring uh, in an early access so we can probably buy our way into that game. That's being made by the Warframe devs and that game looks great. I played the beta, it was a lot of fun. I'm really excited for that game uh, to come out. Space Marine 2 as well, that's kind of just a little hidden game on the side that I'm really interested in playing. Lords of the Fallen 2, uh, I might play that one. It's a Souls-like game. It's a sequel to a other Souls game that was very commercially successful, even though the game kind of sucked. So I'm very, very cautiously optimistic about Lords of the Fallen 2. Uh, same with the new Armored Core by FromSoft. I'm interested in it because I'm a fan of FromSoft, but I just know for a fact that those types of games are very, very uh, overly complicated. So it really depends if they oversimplified it and made it more accessible for somebody like me, where I didn't play a whole lot of the old Armored Core games. I more played like Mech Assault and Mech Warrior and stuff. Uh, but Armored Core is apparently one of those games where it's extremely difficult. So I'm keeping my ear to the ground with that one. Uh, there's also Behemoth VR, which apparently comes out this year. We'll see. Is that going to finally be the next VR Let's Play? I don't know. I want to do VR Let's Plays. Just most of the games in VR suck nowadays. Silent Hill 2 Remake, I, I think, is scheduled for 2023. Maybe it's actually just scheduled for question mark. I, I don't know. Uh, that one I'm keeping my eye on. I'm not super hyped about it, but I am at the same time. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. Um, Hightail, originally they promised us a beta in 2023, but they go back on their word a lot. So I would not be surprised if we don't see anything from Hightail 
but hopefully we have at least something. Uh, and then lastly, there's going to be Minecraft Legends, which that's going to be on Game Pass. So I thankfully get to save some money. Uh, and those are all of the main games planned for this year that I'm expecting a lot of these to end up seeing delays. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, however, other games that I do have on my radar is Earthblade, which was made by the Celeste team. Uh, Zenless Zero Zone, which is a MiHoYo game. So we'll see about that. It's probably going to be very pay to win. Silent Hill F, that has me way more interested in uh, than the remake. Rise of the Ronin is uh, a really looking good looking game, but that's going to be 2024. That's by the Neo devs though. So I'm a little bit like, mm, please don't ruin it. Please don't make it like Neo. Please make it a better game. Uh, Assassin's Creed Crimson Red Japan, whatever. I don't know what it's called, but the Assassin's Creed in Japan, hell yes, I'm going to play that one. Um, and then Star Wars Eclipse, which is by the Heavy Rain devs, whenever that comes out. Sorry about the reverb and echo and stuff, still trying to get it all resolved. But anyways, that's my planned list of games that are coming out this year, as well as games that I am keeping an eye on. Obviously, a lot of developments are going to end up changing over the following months. You know, in March, we usually end up having a pretty good Nintendo Direct that will hopefully finally talk about Metroid Prime 4, which I will definitely play when that game comes out. But anyways, like I said, I wanted to have this as a definitive, okay, here's, here's what you can expect for the year. Uh, and then otherwise, I hope you all have a great day and have so far had a great new year. I know it's just started, but it's been absolutely crazy for me. My like emotions are just up and down constantly, just trying to balance all my personal life stuff. But now that I'm starting to slowly come back into the routine of my job and work and doing YouTube and everything like that, I'm starting to feel a lot better and a lot more emotionally stable. You know, like this is a really good uh, stress relief for me. The only thing is as of recording this video right now, I have not been able to go to the gym. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit, a little bit antsy. Anyways, I'll have a gym update video at some point in the following months, if not this month, depending. It depends if I get the chance because things are super busy for me, which I'll have another video that's going to talk about all that stuff. This was supposed to be focusing on the games themselves. So I just wanted to also take an opportunity to share my appreciation for you guys because sincerely, like I haven't really had a like, here's a recap of my, you know, 2022 or anything. I had a couple videos like I had my best games of the year and I feel like the game awards was kind of our big farewell to 2022. Um, but ultimately like it was it was a really, really good year for me. A lot of personal growth, a lot of emotional growth. Um, and I'm really looking forward to 2023 and what that holds. And I'm really hoping that, um, well, hopefully the channel ends up growing a lot more just because I hope that I can grow a lot more as a person now that I'm not confined to like recording during specific hours of the day and stuff like I can just go to town. But the thing is that I'm kind of at the personal space in my mind right now where I have to kind of break down those barriers and break down those walls so that I can change my, you know, my mentality towards how I approach YouTube, you know, because for years and years and years, I was doing YouTube based on everyone else's schedule. And now I can finally do it based on my own. So I think it's going to take a while for me to ease into that. But I think that that's going to be the main big push for me in 2023. Anyways, I wanted to share that little tidbit of personal information with you guys. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel. Are there any other game suggestions that you think I might be interested in? If there are, you can sound off in the comments. Any of the games that I didn't suggest uh, and I'll definitely take a look at them. I do get quite a few suggestions from you guys, uh, but I'm kind of at the point right now where I'm very, very picky with the games that I play because I know whether or not, okay, I could do like a full series of this or ah, that games I'm not super interested kind of thing. So that's why I wanted to be honest and transparent with you guys about the games that I'm not 100% sold on, you know? Anyways, love you guys. Peace out.